video. My name is Sander and today we are at Charbot Lake. Stick around till the end as I'll show you why this may be a perfect park for you. Charbot Lake Provincial Park is located on Highway 7 and has access to two lakes, Black Lake and Charbot Lake. And it's about three hours from Toronto and an hour and a half from Ottawa. Charbot Lake has over 150 campsites divided into four campgrounds. The first one is beachfront. This is also where the first beach is and a boat launch onto Black Lake. Next is Maple Grove. That's where we stayed. There's also a secondary beach there. Then we have the points. And last but not least, we have Ridgeview. In addition to the two beaches, there's also two boat launches. One on beachfront that launches your boat on Black Lake and one in Ridgeview which launches your boat on Charbot Lake. Charbot is a very nice park and there is multiple campgrounds there. There aren't a lot of electric sites, but there are some beautiful water and walk-in waterfront sites. When it comes to cell phone service here at the park, it's actually quite good throughout the park. So if this is a park where you have to check your email, maybe do the occasional Zoom call, you definitely can. When it comes to bringing your bike here at the park, it's very, very hilly. It is a pretty large park. It's stretched out pretty large, so while bike may be handy, if you're not too strong of a biker and you don't want to deal with big hills, maybe leave your bike at home. When it comes to bringing your kayak, canoe, stand-up paddleboard or even boat, definitely bring it. There's two lakes, there's Black Lake and there's Charbot Lake, we're on Charbot Lake now, and multiple boat launches. So you can always launch your boat or your water toys, definitely bring them. If you don't have them, no worries, you can rent your canoes and kayaks here as well. This is the registration. This is also where there's a little store. Now the odd thing is if you have a trailer, there's really nowhere to park and they haven't gone paperless. So if you do have to, well, you have to check in. So you kind of have to block the roads, which is very odd. The hours of the park and what they carry at the park. This is a trailer sanitation station. The nice thing about this place is it has actually two lanes. And there is hoses, water fill hoses, fresh water on each end. There's two dump spots and both the dump is a threaded hose. So if you have, so if you don't want to do a black tank flush, you can. And for the fresh water, it's also threaded. So if you have a water filter, you can certainly use it. This was our site, site 56. It's rated for up to an 18 foot trailer. However, there is a little bit of a hill to get on and in. So depending on where you park it, you're gonna have a hard time getting it in or out like we did. While not perfect for privacy, we do have a nice grassy field around us. So if you have kids and they just wanna play soccer, baseball, or run around, you have access directly to it, which is kind of nice. One benefit of the site is you can see the lake. There is a nice comfort station with showers. And if you have an electric vehicle, you can also charge it here. This is the first beach at the park. It's a nice, large, sandy beach. This is beach number two, another large, sandy beach. It does get groomed often. And the buoy situation is quite interesting here. Just past the Ridgeview Campground is a dog beach, so if you do have four-legged friends and you want to take them for a swim, here you can. This is the boat launch that allows you to launch a boat directly onto Charbot Lake. It's a very nice, spacious boat launch. Just around the corner from the boat launch is where you can dock your boat here on Charbot Lake and it's just a beautiful lake. There's multiple recycling and garbage depots scattered throughout the park. Now the nice thing is they do have an empty can for your alcohol can so that way the proceeds go back to the park. Other than that it's just your standard recycling and garbage. Secondary showers. There is a nice picnic shelter overlooking the lake and right next to the playground. So you can just hang out here while your kids have fun at the playground. A 
little bit past the playground is another boat launch and this is the Black Lake boat launch. Because Charbot Lake is a pretty long but skinny park, you pretty much always see the lake from wherever you are. Want to enjoy the day on the water but you don't have a canoe, guy or sandal paddleboard? No worries, you can rent them at the park. There's two lakes here at the park and we're now taking the kayaks to Black Lake, which where we are here on site 56 is not a very far walk to the beach. From a buoy perspective, it's quite the, uh, the setup. As you can see, there's buoys everywhere with the different depths. Now it does get deep pretty quick, as you can see right there, it's already one and a half meters deep. So what's that, like four feet? So it does get deep pretty quick. This is the portage from Black to Charbot Lake. Now it's not a very long portage, so definitely doable. This is, a, this is a discovery trail for right here. It's a 1.7 kilometer loop. The nice thing is you do have some guides as well, which is nice to learn more about the area. So let's go. So it's quite hilly the beginning. And the other thing is you're right by the port ice where we were earlier with the kayaks to go from Black Lake to Charbot Lake. down by the bay. It's a short portage from Black to Charbot. And you do have a nice dock again to launch your kayak canoe or stand up paddleboard back into Charbot Lake. This is great for kids. It's a story time trail. So along the trail, it tells you a story. itself is a bit bumpy with three routes on rocks so it's definitely not stroller and wheelchair accessible but it's also not too hard of a trail so it's nice sure at one point in time this was a beautiful view but unfortunately or fortunately I'm not sure which way you want to look at it it's overgrown now overtaken by vegetation so you can kind of see the beach through there but that's uh, definitely hard to see now this part of the trail the last part definitely seems a bit overgrown so after you did the trail definitely do a tick check I'm not sure how bad the ticks uh, are here but as you can see the grass is really really long here so definitely check yourself So 
also rich view you can only get one view the trail is very short it ends right here i would definitely say not worth it but it only takes a few minutes as well so if you just want to get out do some hiking you know maybe this is the trail for you i just don't recommend doing it so let's talk about Charbot Lake Provincial Park. Charbot Lake is a very nice park for several reasons. First of all, there's two lakes. There's Charbot Lake, there's Black Lake, there's boat launches everywhere. So bring your kayak, canoe, stand up paddleboard or even boat and just explore the water. It's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful here. There is a little playground for the kids. If you have four-legged friends, there is an off-leash dog beach here as well which is great for the doggos to cool down. Comes to trails in the park, there's two trails. However, I would suggest definitely do the Discovery Trail. It's a very nice trail. The other one, the Ridge Line, nah, skip it. It's, uh, it's only a very short one, but the views are completely overgrown. So there's really not much to see. Depending on where you are in the campgrounds, you may get some highway noise. So that is definitely something you want to keep in mind when you book, to not book too close to the highway. So yeah, overall, I would definitely be back again. It's a very, very nice park, very spacious park, beautiful area. So I definitely recommend going here. In addition to all of this, if you got some value out of this, smash that like button. It really helps to push out this video to a larger algorithm and subscribe. It's absolutely free, so why wouldn't you? And in addition to all of this, if you want to see more parks like this, why don't you check out this video right here where we check out our top 10 best provincial parks.